are ready to go. What's the message here, Ray? I don't know that there can be a message other than it's so obvious. If you're the team in the lead, it's a chance to stretch the series. If you're the team behind, you got to close that gap. Critical game. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. From the right side, takes the pass. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Puck grabbed by Anderson. Dismiss that chance. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Handles the pass from the right side. Sends it across. And not much on that one. Grabs it in his own end. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Colorado's looking to break out. Pokes the puck away. Grabbed along the board by Sherwood. Can't find his man. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Couldn't make that one happen. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. The Bears ready to go on the attack. Keeps a hold of the puck. Sends the pass over. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Made the stop on the play. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call has made. I saw the hold. Did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people. So it's no surprise the ref got it as well. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. I, for one, am a big fan of when the power play gets on the ice. I used to make my living doing this stuff. And it's because you've got time, make sure you find a way to score. Slides it over with pace to Pilo. The Bears take it along the wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Club save, and he handles it with ease. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Bears have it against the wall. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Smart defensive play there. The Bears take possession in the neutral zone. Let's it fly with the stop. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Set it out in front. Score! Oh, power play. Now they use the manpower advantage to get to the puck, move it around quickly, and cash in. Pretty tough for the goaltender to go two ways. He thinks he's moving to the puck, but it hits the defender and goes in the net. The Bears have drawn first blood here in the opening frame. Relatively early first goal puts them in a nice spot here, moving into the last half of the period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Timmins has it in the defensive end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Hershey's ahead 1-0. 
The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Burroughs plays it now. Hangs on to the puck. That pass goes a little sideways. The Bears get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Scrum ensues along the boards. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shot! Fantastic save! Copley's pitch goal! They've kept working away, not taking too many chances, and their work has resulted in a tie game. Now, well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Fires it into the offensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Colorado's playing it through center. Slides the puck over. Snaps it on net and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Eagles have it now. Colorado's got it against the boards. Puck dumped in. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, we are all tied up in this one. From one point man to another. Blocked in traffic. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Poked away. Sherwood sliding the puck behind the net. Colorado's on the attack. Wrist shot from the slot. Glove save! How did he get a piece of that? The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Carr. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. Here he is in close! Made the save on the play. High quality chance, high quality save. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Sherwood's carrying it ahead. Keeps hold of the puck. Feeds it down low. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Gilbert. The Bears have it from their own end. Great cross ice pass. Into the attacking area from the left side. Excellent stick work on the play. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Barron stick handling in his own zone. Picked up along the wall by Sherwood. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Slashing the call here on this one. Now he got his two minutes worth there, James, as he's fishing away, and all of a sudden he takes the stick back and whacks him pretty good. The Bears send their men advantage unit out once more. Oh, here you go. Another chance to score in the power play. They've done that earlier in the game. Here's another opportunity. Back to the blue line. Molson's got it against the boards. Rips it. Denies him with the save. Past the midway mark of the frame. It's all tied up. Hershey's won the draw. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Moves the puck. Gets a puddle on it to make the save. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here.
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Not exactly how the coach drew that one up. We'll get a face-off. Tries quick on the draw. Quick pass to Timmins. Moves it to Salamaki. And now it's over to Tries. Hershey's regained possession of the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Right out front. Can't connect. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Here's the pass. Denies him in front. The Bears have it behind the net. The Eagles kill off the penalty. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Dumps it into the Ozone. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Pilon. The Bears take it along the wing. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Oh, you can see the shooter. He looked straight up to the sky. He thought that was past the goalie, but the tender made enough of a save to keep the puck out of the net. Late goings of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Johansson. Receives the pass. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Right in the low slot. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Sends a pass over. And that puck leaves the zone. And now it's grabbed by Johansson. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Hershey's now up by one. What's the strategy from here on in? It's to attack. There's no defending a one-goal lead with over two periods left. Go get another one. The Bears get a hold of the puck off the draw. On the attack along the boards. Centering pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Takes the pass. Here they come on the attack. From the slot, fires away. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Off his stick. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs, you feel like you can score every night. Here in the later stages of this period, the Bears are looking to build on this one-goal lead. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Couldn't complete the play. Here he is, wristed on net, blocked in traffic. Puck battle along the boards. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short and they make them pay. The centermen glide into position. Period nearly in the books here. The Bears carry it along the wall. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Dennis 
The Eagles will play it in their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Sprong's got the puck. Pinned up along the boards. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Hershey's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he's ridden off the puck. The Eagles take it across the blue line. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. It's official. Period number one is in the books. Fans, tonight our world famous blimp is dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for the night big prize. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Colorado's focus has to be getting more pucks to the net. They really didn't do much in that first period. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And now he moves it quickly to Timmins. Nice poke check. Nice zone entry on the left side. Along the half wall with the puck. Puts it on net, and that one stopped. Battling for it along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Colorado's across the blue line. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here's a shot, and another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Nice pass. Down the right side and into the zone. Can't connect. Gains the zone on the left wing. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Eagles have it against the wall. No room for that one to get through. Slows him up on the play, and that's going to cost him as the officials caught that one. Here's the official call. The good old-fashioned hook has sent him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. Take it along the wall by Pilo. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to Gilbert. That's blocked. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Battle along the boards. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Takes the feed. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. And the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. The Eagles take a one-goal lead here in the second. This game doesn't look like it's going to stretch out at all now, James. Even though there is a lead, it seems like it'll stay close. McDonald's got it in the offensive zone. Rister stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Four minutes, 29 seconds. I loved making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. 
James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Colorado's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Hershey's on the attack. Takes the puck behind the net. Here's a chance right in the slot, and he can't find his man. Moves it around along the half wall. Gilbert's lugging the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Move to the middle. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. Here's an offensive chance. Gives them nothing in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Hershey's got it in their own zone. The Bears are in transition. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Snaps one from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 3-2 is where we're sitting. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Takes the feed. Shot. Oh, what a stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. Hershey's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Knocked away. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Across the line. Stays with it and makes the save. Carr's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. The setters will glide into the dot. Hershey's won the faceoff. Stopped with ease. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Tries. Manages to hang on. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Steps across the blue line. Driving right to the front. Strong defensive effort. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Moves it quickly over to Timmins. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Bears are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Colorado's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Tries to the crease. Made the stop on the play. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. The Eagles make their way back to center ice here with now a two-goal lead in the second. Nice to pad the one-goal lead. They've played well, and now they've earned this spot in the game. Grabs the puck at center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes a shot, and too much traffic in foot blocks that one. Delayed penalty looming. Turned that one aside. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. 
Not quite a bear hug, but holding is the call, Ray. As soon as you reach out, you're, you're alerting the official to take a closer look. And one hand off your stick in traffic, it's a bad place he to be. got burned. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. Here's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. Quick feed to Sprong. And now he moves it to Pilon. Great pass from off the right side. Out front, he scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Well, that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it, and he beats the goalie. The Bears seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. And he slides it quickly to Salamaki. Takes the pass from the left wing. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. A chance in front. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends the pass over. Handles the puck. On the doorstep, and that one's turned away. That pass doesn't go. Here he is with the backhander, turns it away. We got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Takes the feed from the left side. Jostles the puck loose, maintains possession. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Another power play opportunity coming up here. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. And the puck clears the zone. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Sends it over. Big save. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Colorado's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. The Eagles win it. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Sherwood. Denies the chance by blocking it. Stop that one. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Here in the late going of the frame, it's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. Jabs the puck away. Trying to clear. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Urkins looks around. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Solid check to slow him down. Moves the puck. 
Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Eagles played along the boards. Timmons has the puck against the half wall. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Trying to get back on the attack now. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Handles the pass at center. Gilbert's got it in the defensive zone. Levels him with the hit. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. From point blank range. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. The defenseman's job on this two-on-one is to not let the puck go across and then go back again. It ends up on one stick, and the goalie can make the save. The Bears have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Scrum along the boards. Second intermission approaching quickly here. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Eagles win the draw. Quick pass to McDonald. Receives the pass. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Grabs it in his own end. And now he tries to get it across to Pilo. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available at Pion, throughout the arena, and at our main store. Pick yours up before their history again. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third.
James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Colorado's ahead in this high chance, high danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. Nothing doing on that. Sends a pass over. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes the pass. The Eagles grab possession to the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Urkamps plays it into the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Stones him in front. Keeps possession. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Lots of time left in this period. The Eagles lead it 4-3. Pilos won the draw here in the open ice. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Puck battle along the boards. Sprong's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Carr's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. The Bears have had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by Sherwood. Through center along the wing. Moves the puck behind the net. Shot from the point, and that goes off a player in front. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. And the whistle stops the play, and someone's off to the box. The Eagles have been penalized, holding the call. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Even though this is a great chance to tie the game, you still have to remain a little bit patient. Don't panic with the puck. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Bears win the faceoff. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Hershey's looking to break out. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. A little back and forth. Skates to the crease. Here's a short pass to McDonald. Puck slid down the ice. The Bears have it against the wall. Hershey's got it along the wall. The Bears play it along the wing. And that one's broken up. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Bears are still down a goal after the power play comes up empty. Well, there are times you look for your power play, at the very least, to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Grabbed along the board by tries. Moves it quickly over to Salamaki. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess. But you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Every once in a while, you get a full moon and a great power play. They're having it tonight. Everything is going their way. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Timmins. He got all of that one. Nice pass. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Urkamps has it in the defensive end. Takes the feed from the left side. Handles it along the blue line. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. 
And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And there's the save. Denies him again. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Molson's got it across the line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Pinned up along the boards. Hershey's power play has some chances, but they still are down a goal. There are times as penalty kill has looked like it's up on two wheels tonight, but they kill this last penalty off, and we go back to even strength. Denied that one. The Bears have it now. With possession along the wall. Back to the point it goes. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Hershey's won the draw from the slot. And that banks off a stick. Made the stop on that play. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Point shot with the tip. That's a beautiful pass save by the goalie there. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Hershey's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. The Bears win the draw. Centering pass! Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot, sometimes the thing just hits you. Well, the officials have tried to keep things in line and yet another penalty call here. Dickinson's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. James, when you have an average percentage on a power play like they do tonight, at times it can just suck the life out of your team. It's so up and down. They're looking for something good to happen here. The Bears have it behind the cage. Takes the feed. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Hershey's got it along the wall. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. More than half the period has expired. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. The Bears take possession off the faceoff. Look out! Off target! You can go games without a chance from here. Moves it to Carr. Made that stop. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Bears may not get many better chances than that to tie it as they fail to capitalize on the power play. Another good job by the penalty kill, and this is at a critical time. They still lead, and they... Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Hershey's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. The Bears win it at center ice now. He grabs the puck and makes the routine save. Sends the pass over. Handles the puck. Busted twig on the play. Ah, come on. Now you don't even get a scoring chance out of it. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Receives the pass. They've got numbers. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Picks up the puck in his own end. Cross corner dump in. Moves with the puck at the corner. Tees him up. Denies him. He got all of it. 
The Eagles gain control of it. Slides the puck over. Slides it back to the blue line. And that pass goes awry. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. The Bears looking against the half wall. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Good hit on the play. Quick pass to Johansson. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Let's it go with the stop. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Pass back to the point. Moves the puck along the half wall. Now he takes it over the line, and he regains control of the puck. Takes it into the slot. No, oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. For the last two hours, it's been this same movie again. Great scoring chance, great stop. Here in the later stages of this period, this one has been a good back and forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Handles the puck at the point. Sends a pass over, and he makes the save with ease. Here's a short pass to Sherwood. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. And here's a pass to Carr. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Sherwood's picking up steam. Jocelyn for the puck, but still maintains possession. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The Bears have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Moves the puck. From the neutral zone now. And we've got a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the pass. Nice pass. The Bears take it along the wall. The sense of urgency has really set in. They pull the goalie. The extra attacker's out. Misses the net. The Bears look to start the transition game. And he gains the zone here. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Here's a chance to set up now. On the doorstep. Here he is on the backhand. And that's blocked. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. The Eagles move it ahead. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, no. none. Man advantage unit steps inside the face-off circle with another golden opportunity in this critical time of the game. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. We've got ourselves a 2-0 series lead. Do you even start thinking sweep at this point? The players aren't. Everybody else is. But I think they played two really good games. Deserve to be up the pair that they are now. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.